السلام علیکم السلام علیکم سو ویلکم ٹو دی انادر سیٹ آف عربک ورڈ پریکٹسز ٹوڈے ور گن بی پریکٹس ان ا گروپ آف ورڈس ور گن اسٹارٹ ود پیپل وچ از اشخاص اش اش خاص اش خاص and then we're gonna do places اماكن اماكن and then objects اشياء أشياء and then drinks مشروبات 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 so if I take the the short cases or if I place the short cases on these words and the word is أشخاص أش Fatha, sukun, fatha, and here I have a long vowel, ashkhas, ashkhas, places a makin, a makin, and I'm pausing at the end, ash ya, and here we have also a long vowel, here's a long vowel, here's another long vowel, ash ya, then we have مشروبات 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 and if we want to put the short cases on السلام عليكم it would go like أس and I'm putting a small scene right here it's even smaller than that it's called شدة and every time you see this little tiny scene shape it's for stress that means that sound you have to really stress it السلام عليكم there is stress on this sound as if you're doubling it in in English. As-salamu alaykum. As-salamu. As-salamu alaykum. As-salamu alaykum. So the place, the people, ashkhas, ashkhas, amakin, ashya, mashrubat. We first begin with, with, uh, the common words that we would use once we start learning Arabic is we need to use teachers. So we would use ustad. And in previous videos, you know that um, these words, they do take feminine. And the feminine is ta'marbuta. So I'm only going to use masculine right here. Ustad. Talib. Talib. صديق صديق friend so أستاذ teacher طالب طالب student and then صديق friend the other word would be طبيب طبيب Tabib, and I'm going to zoom in that way you can see how the word is written. Tabib, Tabib, it's perfect. Tabib, Tabib for doctor. Tabib, Tabib, and then we have Daif. Daif, there is one dot on the fa. This dot right here is for Talib. Daif. 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 And we have Um. Um. Mother. Ab. Ab. And Akh. Akh. So we have Ustad. Talib. Sadiq. طبيب ضيف أم أب 
Ach. And I'm squishing all these uh, words next to each other because I want you to be able to visually recognize the, um, different writing styles. And a lot of people, they don't skip the line when they are writing in Arabic. Um, so you would actually have script like that. Daif, daif. We will rewrite the, the words again to practice. The places that we start learning are called madrasa. 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 Ma. D. Rasa. And here is ta marbuta. Madrasa. Then we have ja. Mia. Ja. Mia. Jamia and Saf for class. Saf, 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 Saf. Ashia, Kalam, Kalam, Kitab. Kalam for pen, kitab for book. Kursi. 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 So, kalam, kitab, kursi. Kursi. Mashrubat. Mushrubat drinks, chai. And that's also used in English. They say chai, but it's sh sh chai, chai. Halib, halib, so chai, halib, milk. Ma, ma. Ma for water. So let me do the short vowels on these ones. We have ustav, ustav, talib, talib, ba, sadiq, and then tabib, daif. Is a fatha for daif. Um, ab, and ach. Um, ab, and ach. So why are we learning all these words just like that, sing on their own? We need to know how to place them in a sentence. The way we would place is we, as we learned before, you need to know where to place the, and let me just bring these a little bit like that so we can use qalam and kitab and kursi. We learned that nouns, they always take place at the beginning. So when we write a sentence, we start with ism. So this is one way of starting. Or we start with a verb, verb, which is fi'al. Ism and fi'al. Since we're only learning the nouns right now and we're not doing the uh, verb conjugation yet, we will start writing sentences that are only um, beginning with nouns. So let's take qalam. Let's start it here. Qa. Lam. And I want to say my. My. So have qala. Me, I place the my right here. Kala me, and every time I put my, I put kasra before it. Kala me. Oops. And then we say kala muka. Kala muka. Kala muka. For masculine. 
قلم کی قلم کی قلم کی قلم کی and then we have قلم قلم هو his قلم هو and the last one is قلم ها مو so you keep the root of the word which is قلم قلم ها her Kalamuha, and this would be the ending of all possess, uh, possessive uh, pronouns. All the words that you learn right here, all of them, you would actually say my and add it to the to the noun. So if you want to say ustavi, you can place the possession my. Your masculine, your feminine, his, and her at the end of all these words. What you're doing right here, you're only grouping them. That way you know which one is which, and you're also learning the gender of each one. So, Ustav, Ustav, Talib, Sadiq, Ash. This is our all ashkhas. So, ustad, tab, talib, and sadiq, they are masculine. Tabib, masculine. Daif, masculine. Um, feminine, mother. Um, ab, ab, and akh, masculine and masculine. Most of these words you would add ta marbuta to it. So, if you want to say female teacher, you would say ustada and add ta marbuta taliba. Add ta marbuta right here. Sadiqa. Add ta marbuta. Tabiba. Feminine. Daifa. Feminine. Ba um. It's already feminine, so you don't need to add anything. And ab is just the opposite of um. And akh. When you say sister, you would say ukht. You don't add ta marbuta to it because it's a, it's a title of a sister. Ukht. Ukht. It takes different ending, but you would have the t sound, which is t. So this is just to group your um, your words. In the verb part, the verb, so you you have to be careful with the conjugation of verbs. And verbs usually we we use them with with drinks when we first start learning Arabic. We want to make sure that we use verbs or action verbs that we can um, attach to our first set of vocabulary like milk and tea and coffee and water. So what do we do with mashrubat is the verb is shariba. Shariba. And the rule for verbs in Arabic, they, they, they take the third person masculine in the past. So verbs in Arabic take third person masculine in the past, that's how you would see the infinitive. So infinitive verbs in Arabic take the third person masculine in the past. So the verb is shariba. It's like to drink, to drink, shariba. With the conjugation of verbs, we always apply the personal pronouns. And personal pronouns, as we learned, there is ana, Anta for masculine, anti, anti, and hua, and then we take hia, and I'm gonna place hia right here. Let's put it here. Hia. So we have ana, anta. Anti, hua for he, and then hia. We're only using the singular form. Ana. What we do in Arabic is we place the root of the verb in all these. So 
So what we're doing, we're going to just put the sha, r, and ba. These are the letters that are going to be placed in all these, uh, with these personal pronouns. So I'm going to take sha, and I place it right here. And again, sha, this is the root, this is the verb. And then we have sha, ra, and ba. And then let's do sha, ra, and ba, or he, she. What we do is we add an indication of the speaker. So I, ana, ash, rab, ash, rab, ash, rab. Ashrab, or if you want to put the end, then you say ashrabu, I am drinking, or I drink, ashrabu. Then the other one would be anta, and we add ta, tashrabu, tashrabu. Uh, anti, put ta, shra, shra. And then we we have to use the initial form of ba. So I place the dot right here, tashra, and I add the ending of the verb conjugation. You are drinking, feminine, tashrabina, 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 tashrabina. You are drinking, hua. Ya shrabu. Heya ta shrabu. So as you can see that the what we are adding is just the indication of I am drinking. You are masculine. You feminine. It takes two um it has a prefix and a suffix in the verb, and this is all present tense. And yash rabu, or hiya tash rabu. Yash rabu, I'll write it up here. Yash rabu. Yash rabu. Tash rabu. She is drinking or she drinks. We use the present tense, we call it al mudari'a. Al mudari'a. Al mudari'a. Al mudari'a is the present tense. The present tense, al mudari'a. Al mudari'a. Al mudari'a. And the mudari in Arabic is used to uh, express the present tense. And also, if you are familiar with the English grammar, it's also used to express uh, the present continuous, which is I am doing uh, and I do. So what we're going to do is, how are we going to make a sentence with a verb? Still, we can also uh, apply or activate some of our uh, vocabulary. We're going to be using drinks, since the verb is to drink. So let's do this. So we have Anna. 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 Ashrabu shai. I drink tea or I am drinking tea. Ana ashrabu shai. Ana ashrabu shai. Anta. Anta. Tashrabu. Tash. Tashrabu. Kahwa. Coffee. Anti. Ta sh rabina. T 
تشربين عصير 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 جوس هو يشرب ماء ور ماء هو يشرب ماء هي تشرب أنا I place the dot in the middle هي تشرب حليب milk هي تشرب حليب so I'm going to put the short cases to help you pronounce these sentences أنا أنا I'm talking about I so I'm the one speaking أنا أشرب أشرب أنا أشرب شاي أنت you masculine أنت تشرب so you masculine أنت تشرب قهوة قهوة أنت تشربين عصير عصير هو يشرب ماء ماء هي تشرب حليب حليب عصير قهوة and some people they would write also قهوة 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 ود ألف مقصورة هي تشرب حليب هو يشرب ماء so أنتي you feminine هو and هي can be replaced with names so he and she we can say for example uh, Maya uh, no for a male um, let's say uh, Mike here Mike Mike يشرب ماء we don't have to say Mike هو يشرب ماء just Mike يشرب ماء Maya for female Maya and we skip Maya تشرب حليب مايا تشرب حليب for these three you are addressing the person you are addressing the person or you are speaking you don't need to change uh, but for these two you can actually change by indicating the name or identifying the person by his first uh, or last name so these are two ways you can activate your vocabulary first you group them as we did over here, you have to group pl people, places, objects, and drinks. You apply the grammar by saying my, and you add it to nouns to make nominal sentences right here. So this is a sentence that starts with a noun. Then you want to use a, a verb, and you make your sentence verbal. It begins with a verb. Then you say ashrab. You start immediately by ashrab. Ashrab uh, halib. I drink uh, milk. Ashrab uh, ma. I drink uh, water. Ashrab shai. I drink uh, tea. And then you start conjugating. It's very important to remember the initial, uh, the prefixes and suffixes of conjugation in Arabic. So I'm going to indicate it right here. Quickly, we say. أنا أ أنت ت أنت ت إينا هو يا هي ت So you have just these one, two, three, four, and five. Five indication of the المضارع المضارع and you have to place your verb just right here, as you go, you learn I eat, you learn I go, and you just place it in here with these uh, indication of al-mudare. So that'll be all for today. Thank you.